All right, guys, I know it's been a while since I've made my last video, but I've had a lot of um, stuff I had to order and, you know, finish testing the batteries, which took freaking forever. Um, but I finally got the rims in. I got the, all the battery cells uh, charged up and discharged, so I've got everything written down. Uh, I've got some pretty good numbers on my first battery pack. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide up all of the batteries so that every every cell within the 13 cells for the BMS board, every cell is going to have equal amount of milliamps. So that's what I'm going to show you now, and I'm going to put it in, in fast forward. So enjoy it. Alright guys, what I've done is I've separated all the batteries and that's going to be in the battery. Uh, basically all the battery cells that's going to be in the battery. I've got I separated them all 24, uh, 2400 milliamp, uh, which are actually pretty good cells. I think they're actually fairly new. Um, these are 26 uh, normally and I've got 2448 like on this one here. So I've got quite a few of these guys. And then those are 24, 23, 22, and then 21 and 21 below to 2000 milliamps nothing below 2000 in this battery so now i'm going to go ahead and uh put them in order and show you what i'm going to do next <music> Alright guys, I've got them all lined up uh, from the highest to the lowest, and this one being the lowest at right at 2,000. Let's see, right at 2,000, you can see that, and then the highest being at, at 24.48. So now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take basically one for one uh, to make each cell uh, for the battery, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one. From the from the front and then one from the very bottom you just keep doing that and that should equal the first cell uh, being eight cells in this pack I was gonna go with a higher number of cells um, but it won't fit my my battery pack so I had to stick with, you know, eight cells high, you know, 13 cells long. And what I'm going to try and do is make two of them uh, to equal like 32 amps. So in total, um, I wish I could go bigger, but unfortunately the bags aren't going to be as big as I thought it was, it was going to be. So kind of stuck with what I've got, but all right. So I've got all cells now uh, mixed from the bottom to the top. So they should all be really close. To the same uh, milliamp size what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna calculate each one to make sure that that's true so that's what i'm gonna do next finally finished uh, with the batteries here and um, they're all within 40 milliamp of each other um, the average about 17 632 uh, once this battery is gonna be put together 
So not bad for uh, for these uh, used laptop battery cells. So 17 and 17.6 amps. Uh, not too bad. So I'll keep moving forward. All right, I'm starting to put these together now. Um, I would use the plastic spacers, but I'm trying to save a lot of space and trying to keep these things as tight as possible. So I'm just going to use the heat gun for now. <laughs> 